Right. Hey there, Twisted Sage here. Um, the sun's currently uh, 22 degrees Scorpio, and the moon is probably around 7 degrees Aries. Double Mars in the sky. I want to grab motherfucking cock sucking God, of course I'm catching the glare um, there it is chemtrails unnatural you see the projection that motherfucker okay Oh, this is going to be a funky one. <laughs> you need some Dramamine when you watch my videos. Alright, my purpose for all that. Time for a new screen cover. Ah. And of course, if you have followed me for some time, you know that I've spoke on that a bit. It's not a big harp of mine, but it was very noticeable when oh when the pandemic shit hit when they locked down the whole world no one was flying but the motherfuckers still had airplanes in the sky to pump heavy metals aluminums to fuck with our our health and well-being uh if you ever look up in fact i'm gonna switch camera angles Boom, X marks the fucking spot. Fuck you. Uh, I've seen, I, I, I swear I, I've seen him do heavy cam trailing. In fact, all that you see right there might not even be, none of that might even be natural fucking cloud. You give it long enough, like as you can see the X, okay? Well, eventually that dissipates or dissipate is the right term spreads thinner and gives this false appearance of being a wispy ass fucking fake ass cloud uh, obviously I'm, I'm going to go uh, partake in greater ritual Definitely, ah. Ah. Very spring-like conditions. Would you, I want to say would you agree, but uh, you could not deny the moon and Aries brought a greater vibe of warmth and more of a spring vibe in the middle of fall. I happen to think for our region that this uh, it's gonna be the flip flop. We're having one of the weirdest, mildest falls we've ever, that I've ever experienced in 20 years of living in the White Mountains, of Arizona. And and we had the strangest like I've never seen snow in September. We actually had an early snow in September. That uh, was kind of like, ooh, this might be a good kick-ass winner. But then now, and then the rug pulled, pulled a twist, and it's the strangest spring-like fall you've ever seen. But with this eclipse cycle being now going to end up being linked to Taurus and Scorpio but more so the fact that the North Node is going to be doing its dance with Uranus and Taurus it's definitely going to bring some, some futuristic explosions get into crypto that space is going to fucking boom, skyrocket as they say my, my coins go into the moon uh, the reason I 
say that is because Taurus rules money. So there's probably going to be some funny overhaul in the next five months. There might definitely there might be some uh, not quite the term I'm looking for, but whoops, sheep clothing type scenario that it's going to look like the crypto space is like oh why would I waste putting my money there? But then it's going to really catapult even further. It's a hell of a spot to pick the stop, fella. Um, this eclipse kind of just, <laughs> just putting the tip in to the axis of Scorpio Taurus because... The actual nodes will still be dancing in uh, Gemini Sagittarius. So the, the first eclipse that truly embodies the sun, the moon, and both the nodes, north and south, being in Scorpio Taurus alignments won't be until May. Maybe maybe end of April. April, May. Yeah, so maybe the end of April and then beginning part of the year and then into whatever. You know what I'm telling you. Uh, that being said, star dad out. going to get really loud, but uh, probably be too much on your end. All right, start in. Out.